there's things in there that they cherish that they don't want to get rid of. All week long, Casey Brown, like many of her neighbors, faced the same agonizing decision. What to salvage and what to toss after unexpected flooding in her home. It was very surprising. Obviously, we never had our basement flood. So to have that suddenly happen within, you know, a half hour of it starting to rain, it just was it, it was amazing. I just couldn't believe it. She's a victim of what's being called a 100 year flood around town. Yeah, She's also a volunteer for the movement, Norwood Strong. Yes. Honestly, nobody's really ever prepared, and I've now learned that it's, it's much better to prepare than to try to make it up as you go. James Bonzel leads the group. Brown, alongside 19 teams of volunteers, is canvassing Norwood, offering help to people still cleaning up. That includes Xavier students, too. It's definitely great to come here. We, we rolled up, and immediately the guys are screaming, you're our saviors, uh, and we're happy to be here. Um, I mean, 25 guys, we can do a lot of good on a Friday night. Also on this same night, Norwood's football team honors firefighters for their help throughout the flood efforts. A show of how far they've come in just days and how much more they'll do in the future. We're going to leave no Norwood residents behind, and that's our goal. And that's been our goal from the start, but now, truly by canvassing, going door to door, that's how we're going to make it happen. All right, now get this. The MSD says it collected more sewer backup reports from this flood than ever before. They say they are still investigating new claims and have hired nine additional cleaning firms to help with the high demand. We're live in Norwood tonight. Dan Griffin, WLWT News 5.